My name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast of the Castle Craig's Petrus Revealed Part 2. In today's program, I will include recent photos taken of the Castle Craig petroglyphs while hiking through the lowest slopes of Castle Creek. Castle Craig's, with its towering spires and domes, is surrounded by primitive backcountry and is now one of California's most enchanted state parks. My friend, avid adventurer and explorer Eric Fidman and I walked the four and a half miles uphill and made our way down to the magnificent, pristine, whitewater Castle Creek. Once there, Eric and I found the ancient petroglyphs. The photos you're about to see are of the petroglyphs and symbols chiseled in the coarse granite rocks. There are those who think that these mystic signs were carved into the granite rock in a prehistoric era and these theories are supported by those who believe that the Mount Shasta area is indeed part of the last remaining portion of the vast continent of Lemuria which sank into the Pacific Ocean. As I studied the ancient symbols it was obvious that here was yet another perplexing puzzle of the ages needing to be solved that was discovered several decades ago by two Dunsmuir High School students and the late Frank Bascom. But who carved the Castle Craig's petroglyphs? The Castle Craig petroglyphs still remain a mystery to this day. Did Native Americans create these carvings? In my conversations with the locals and the Native elders, they say this work was not chiseled by Indians. Then, who carved the delicate intricate symbols in the hard granite boulders, and when and why will probably always be just another mystery in an area where mysteries abound. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast of Castle Craig's Petrogris Revealed, Part 2.